Imagine you have two identical twins, Alpha and Beta, and as usual, you forget who's who. What you do know is that if you ask one of the twins his name, I'm Alpha. Then with absolute certainty, you instantly know the name of the other. Now let's rewind a little. Picture the same two twins as newborn babies, their names yet to be assigned. You propose to randomly select the names by shuffling them in a hat and picking the first twin's name. While shuffling, their names are in an undecided state, in a superposition. But as soon as you pick a name from the hat, you force the twin to assume a fixed state and instantly know the state of the other. This is quantum entanglement. Well, it is after you replace the twins with electrons and their uncertain names with superposed spins. In an entangled pair, these spins must be opposites to conserve angular momentum. And so, just like the analogy, measuring the state of one particle instantaneously influences the other to assume the opposite state, regardless of distance. That's it! Okay, fine, that's not it. See, Einstein found a loophole, claiming that to instantly communicate to the other particle what state to assume, information would be traveling faster than the universal speed limit, light. And so he proposed his own theory, called hidden variables. He suggested that particles always have definite properties, even before measurement, eliminating the need to communicate, much like how the grown twins always had fixed names, regardless of our measurement. However, after rigorous experiments, scientists refuted the hidden variables theory. So what about the recognized faster than light loophole? Well, particles in superposition are probabilistic and represented in quantum physics by wave functions. Once entangled, these wave functions mathematically interconnect these particles into one being, meaning a change anywhere in the wave function influences both particles, making communication a fallacy. Now I know it's hard to believe that Albert Einstein himself was wrong, but it's true. Does this mean we stop relating Einstein to peak human intelligence? Well, no. In fact, him questioning quantum mechanics makes him even more respectable, for without questions, there are no answers.